viewers on today's video we're gonna cut and get rid of the EGR system on the Ford Explorer second generation and you can do it on almost any other car like this you see this is EGR EGR Wolf tubing and EGR tubing from there we're gonna unscrew this from here unbolt it unbolt it from down there and uh, cut all the system all this gonna be thrown in the trash and we're gonna we're gonna trick this DPFE sensor and like this and uh, we're gonna trick this system so it will be working properly so guys first we gotta unscrew this nut watch guys how I will do it Okay, so we unbolted each air valve two 10 mm bolts and now we try to remove it from the metal pipe. Little wiggling. There we go. This is the each air valve, heart of the system that pollutes our engines. It's kind of dirty, right? Oh, hey, some gunk in here. Now I'm gonna break this pipe. Barbarian Russian way, so I will be able to unscrew the other end of this pipe. That's it. Violence is always a solution. Now I'm gonna get this nut from the exhaust. That's it. Pretty smooth, huh? So that's our EGR system that fart in our car's lungs, plain and simple. This pipe I couldn't remove for now, because dipstick's pipe attachment holds it. I will show you how I shut this hole later. Now we take some high temperature epoxy body for exhaust, mash it properly and stick it in the exhaust hole down here. Now we have shut this big nasty hole. And let's get to sensor. You see this closest thin pipe? We should connect it by holes with this vacuum line that previously was connected to EGR vacuum valve. And the other pipe, big one, we leave it with no connection. And DPFE sensor will show no wrong data to the PCM whatsoever. And look how much spare room in the engine compartment we got now. And that's how I shut the hole to intake. I made something like a gasket and put some RTV under it. That's it. Engine runs smooth and cool. 